Let's spend a few minutes exploring how a comprehensive geospatial system, ArcGIS, with built-in business rules can enable pervasive network access for your organization. And we'll start here, a web GIS portal that provides users with access to network maps, apps, and the tools they require to perform their day-to-day -day tasks. Right away, we can see that the system knows who I am based on my logged in identity. And this identity grants you access to views of the network, is used to track edits made to the network, and provides you with access to pre-configured maps and apps, just like this communications viewer application. Through this app, I can see all of our physical networks in one location, easily search for an asset, and pull up details on assets. And this also includes when the network record was created or last updated and who created or updated this record. As a user of this portal, I also have access to this inventory dashboard, which provides summaries on lengths of cable or fiber strand availability, as well as the total number of POPs or points of presence and structures that we are managing within our network. Another app that I've been granted access to is this NOC dashboard that offers insight into current operations and network outages. So let's run through a quick scenario. A large storm event, like a hurricane, has rolled through our service area, causing numerous service outages, damages to our physical network, and caused customers to call in complaining or tweet about no internet or TV service. Now responding to events like this requires a coordinated response from many departments all viewing that single source of network truth to ensure limited downtime and happy customers. Customer service teams require access to real-time outage maps that are updated based on that time to restoration. Executive teams need high-level reports and dashboards that can help them answer outage questions that may be coming from local, state, or national government officials. And operations teams need web and mobile apps to coordinate field assessments or repairs of the network. For example, a mobile field survey for damage assessment. And let's go ahead and jump to our tablet to perform a damage assessment as a field technician. Opening up the ArcGIS Mobile Field Maps app will once again notice that we are already logged into the system, but this time as a field technician, Tyler West, and not as myself, which I was previously logged in as. Opening up the Communications Mobile Map Book provides me with access to our physical network information while I'm in the field. And while in the field, I notice some issues with a distribution cable. And I want to report some damage to this cable. So this then pulls up a smart form, which has already been populated with the asset ID of that cable and then allows me to intuitively fill out the rest of our damage assessment. I also have the ability to attach photos of the damages and even sketch up right on top of the photo. And lastly, since I'm not currently located in Florida, I need to update the location of the damaged asset on our map.
And once this report has been submitted, it's instantly available for operations teams in the back office to view. And it's available to see on our NOC dashboard. So back to our NOC dashboard, there is a chart showing us the breakdown of damaged assets versus hazards reported from the field. And under the damaged assets tab, is a list of recently reported damages, including the one that we just collected. This damage report not only has all of that survey information and the photos that we've collected, but it shows when the report was taken and by whom. So no longer does critical network information need to be siloed from the organization or require specialized apps to access. The configurable business rules and built-in identity and security of ArcGIS, coupled with the services architecture of a comprehensive geospatial system, means that you can now provide pervasive network access to your organization through easy to use web and mobile apps, just like those that we've seen here today.